welcome back. Another day, another vlog. Hope you're all well and had a great weekend. And good to see you coming to oh, coming to join us again for this Monday. Another week. Another week. Nearly the end of uh, the swing for me. We've got uh, what two more sleeps and I get to go home and see the family. Uh, for you dads out there, happy Father's Day for yesterday. I had a... It's probably... Now my dad, I guess it's probably the highlight of the year. Um, I'm sure all you new dads uh, probably understand me pretty well. Uh, little Jack, got to talk to him. He made me a card. Um, he sent me a photo on Facebook with the help of mum. So yeah, that was uh, put a big smile on my face. So that's always a nice feeling. And it's good to, good to know you've got uh, someone thinking about you while you're away at work. So very, very cool. Got to talk to my dad. Happy Father's Day to you, Pops. Uh, yeah, that's always good. I love. Um, I haven't been able to see him this year. Uh, he's stuck in Darwin. None of us can get to him. That's uh, the biggest drama with the whole family living in four different states. Um, so, yeah, sort of hard when you can't get to see the old man uh, for a year. I normally get to see him at the Barra Classic and we get to spend a few days and catch up and see each other. So, yeah, uh, hopefully once this COVID finishes, I can get up and come up and... Uh, Catch up with your buddy, so happy Father's Day to you, Pops. Rightio, um, if you hadn't already noticed, uh, if you've not subscribed and got the bell going, um, there was a new video come up on, I think, Saturday I got it finished. Yeah, I think it was Saturday I, I got it up live. No, it might have been Friday night. I, I'm not sure, 100%. Um, but it's, it was up live, Bell's Rapid Sunrise. Uh, look... I think I said to you late on Friday's show that there's a couple of photos I was really stoked with. Um, and one was just just mind-blowing, just one of those ones you just hope you could get. Um, that's the one I'm using the thumbnail for it. You'll see it. It's just come up sensational. There was a like when I was down there, and this is probably the hard part to sort of portray when you, you're seeing the video wasn't real excited and I didn't think there was anything that was going <clears> to <throat> capture that little that glow that I had that was there I could see it I can with your visual eye you can see it and when you're taking photos sort of you look in the back of the screen and go mm, I'm, not, I'm not, not sure maybe I've got something there maybe I don't um, I don't need these um, they're fogging up uh, and it I was sort of hoping there was something there's a couple of sort of good ones with the foam. I thought, oh, you could see the sort of glow on the on the foam. It's like, yeah, maybe that'll work. Hopefully, I can get it to work and I get everything right. Um, but uh, yeah, so there's a couple on the foam, really good. There's one that second one where I shot up the water and shot this way with a big tree in the background with the sun popping over. That was a combination. I had to use one where. I had to get two photos together, merge that for that because that sun obviously was just blowing right out. Um, so I had a dark dark image with a thousand ND on, so that was able to get that nice sun star, which I think looks pretty darn cool. And then the other one was just that water and the glistening of the water on those rocks. It uh, that came out really super well, and that's probably my second one. But the one where it's just like a beautiful, just I guess peach, peach, pinky, orangey sort of all over us, just like a silky smooth water, just glass, and reflection in the sky and the clouds. Um, <clears throat> that was one of those really good photos you sort of, you hope you're gonna get if you, when you go out for the, when you get up early or you go, go out late, you're trying to find something like that. And that's the one that you, once you get it in the Lightroom, you see it like as soon as I started editing that photo, I just had a smile on my face going, yeah, it was, it was all worthwhile. Super, super stoked with that one. So I'll probably end up, I should be out of this week. I'll, I've got to put, I'm trying to put a few of them up as prints on Teespring. Uh, so at the moment, obviously, with work and everything, it's tricky to try and get something. I am in the process of trying to look and find someone that can send out my prints or buy a printer. Now, Canon did uh, release a little, uh, not a ProGraph, but a, a Pixma 200. And I think that's going to be a little bit more reasonable price-wise. So I might be able to do my own prints. I've got to sort of work out, look at the budget and see what sort of quality that is compared to if I actually find a local printer in Perth and I can go get prints done for people and then send them off to them. That might be a better thing. 
The other avenue of that is it's tricky with me working away for two weeks. Uh, I basically got a week home, so being able to send them out to you is going to be sort of a bit of a delay where I guess at least through Teespring at the moment, um, they may not be the world's greatest quality, but at least you can get a, a print at a, at a very cheap price and it's all done for you and sent out to you. I don't have to be, you don't have to wait for me to get home from work two weeks. So that's sort of the, <clears throat> I'm, I'm working on it. Bear with me, I will get there one day. <laughs> Um, so yeah, pretty happy with the video. Go check it out. There's some really nice photos on there. A couple of those two, couple of just absolute pearlers. I was super, super stoked with. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed that one. I think I think I'm slowly, slowly getting. I aim to get a little bit better each video in my editing, my music, my coloring, my sound, and all that stuff. And I, I think I'm slowly getting there. I don't know if the Canon Vixia will end up staying. I think it's. Well, it, it, it's sort of good and it's handy because I, I don't have to worry about overheating or record times I can just record, but it does split files. Um, I'll probably do a video on that and do a review on it and talk about the ups, the good sides and the bad sides of that, that unit. And then I've thought about, well, I've got a little cage coming for my iPhone so I can put my uh, anamorphic lens so I can just have a cover on the phone. All I have to do is just screw my lens straight in. I don't have to worry about pulling covers off and clips and all the stuff, which just makes it painful. So we're gonna get this case coming. I'm gonna try and do a few where I can record in the iPhone and do the video that way and see how that goes. Um, <clears throat> just try everything. Uh, what I've got, I've got a camera, I can shoot in 4K in that, I can record that. How that'll come up, I'm not sure, but it's worth a crack. And I'm due for a new phone when they release, whenever they release them this year. So then I'll have a, have a new phone. So but the photo's pretty good. So we'll talk a little bit more about that when we get to that. I've got some notes on that coming up. So yeah, pretty happy. Hope you've had a good weekend. Hope you got to see that video. If you haven't, if you didn't see that, get the notification. All you have to do is hit that little bell down here above the, next to the subscribe. There's a little bell. You hit that. You can set it up to suit if you only want certain videos i think you don't have to have everything you can just get off one one here and there i did try a premiere i'm trying to do with the photo videos trying to do a premiere one uh, at least that way i can set up when i'm there and if you want to ask any questions i'll be there watching it with you and you can ask away and i can try and give you some feedback and I'll let you know what i was thinking as it's happening so i've done a couple of those now and i think it's a it's not a bad idea. Um, I think it gives you a bit of pre-warning as well to know when it's coming out. So hope you enjoyed that. Rightio, on with the news. Let's get this done. We've got a fair bit to get through. Rightio, another phone. Uh, how many phones have been released in the last three, four months? Holy crap. Uh, it's a, a kill or be killed market. I get, definitely guarantee you that. Um, there's so many good things coming out. And then another one here. Uh, over on Unbox Therapy, the boys uh, did an unboxing Infinity, in, Infinity, <coughs> excuse me, Infinity Zero Eight phone. Uh, not a bad bit of kit, and it's a it's a budget minded phone, so it's not a top of your range phone, but it's it's got some good specs. I'll run through the specs, and we'll talk a little bit about it. Forty five hundred milliamp battery. Uh, it's got that supercharge. Uh, which is 70% in 30 minutes. So that's pretty darn good. Uh, 33 watt charger. Um, so that's super important nowadays. They've all got bigger batteries. So to be able to charge them and keep yourself going because people are on the move and using their phones constantly all day, every day. Uh, it's good to have that good battery. 48 megapixel front camera uh, for your selfies. 64 megapixel rear. 6.85 uh, FHD display, so it's not an OLED, it's not a top of the range display. They've saved a bit of money on, on that, that side. Uh, really, really good. Still good image, 90 to 180 hertz refresh rate. So it's an it'll, a variable refresh rate, but even at 90, that's still better than what we currently get on my old iPhone. So that's, or the iPhone 10, and I think the 11s, I think are still 60, so still really good in that respect. Most of the new ones are around the 120. 120 seems to be the new norm. So it goes up to 180. So I think if you're doing a bit of gaming and stuff on there, it's definitely going to be usable in that regards. 
eight gigabyte of RAM, it's got a Helios chip. Now, and again, it's not a Snapdragon or anything, but they've saved a bit of money. This is not a mega expensive phone by far. By far. <clears throat> uh, eight megapixel ultra wide. Uh, it's got ultra night camera on it. And it's got oh, ultra night mode and a 64 megapixel ultra night camera. Uh, 4K video, 960 frames per second, per second slow mode. So that's going to be obviously reduced quality, but a, a specialized Bokeh, cam, uh, Bokeh camera lens. Fingerprint on the side, it's not on the front. Uh, there's no face to that, and it's got liquid cooling built in. Uh, super, super, super good phone for what it is. It's again, it's not your high end, it's not your Note 20s or your iPhone 11 Pros or 12s, which is coming out. Um, it's going to be sort of mid tier, probably about the five six hundred US mark, somewhere around there. Definitely affordable, uh, but still has a lot of really nice bits of kit in it. Android, obviously, it's not an Apple. Uh, so if you're an Android user, yet another great option for you. Uh, the Android guys really have so much to choose from. If you're in that system and you're using that system, there's just an absolute plethora of amazing tech coming out that you can. You really have a choice. The buyer has so many choices on the Android side. So, look, great, looks looks good, performs pretty well. Um, it's got all the good gear in it. Uh, I think you'll be pretty happy if you get this phone. Uh, SpaceX uh, dropped another 50, 60 satellites last week when it did that uh, launch. So there's another 60 going up. Um, they've done some wor work. We talked, I think, about a couple of weeks ago about the download speeds. For the current for the um, satellite link is about 60 megs. That's now increased up to current testing. They're getting up to 100 megabytes a second download, which is just amazing. Like you think you could be in the middle of the desert in the Simpson Desert here in Australia, have an accident, car crash, whatever breakdown, but still have full 100 megabytes a second download, which is better than what we get for my internet at home for dial-up broadband FTTP. So that is just insane. Uh, can't wait for it to hit. You can join up. I've, I'm on the uh, email list where they'll tell you when it's coming to Australia. So as soon as I find out, I'll definitely let you know. But look, it's it's going really well. Obviously, the only, only if, issue I have with this is the same that all astrophotographers have. If you shoot at night and do any sort of star gazing, there's gonna be a lot more satellites in our skies from here on in. So that's the only downside I can see out of it. Uh, other than that, it's gonna be super amazing to what it's gonna be able to let us do. So very, very cool. Um, Samsung is releasing uh, three devices at, trio. don't worry about that one. <laughs> I can't even read my own writing. What's, wow, that's terrible. Ah, oh, now I know what it is. Uh, can you tell us night shift? <laughs> um, Samsung's released the Trio charging, wireless charging uh, pad. So Apple, uh, for how many years, have been sort of waiting for the Apple to come out with a wireless pad. They've all got wireless charging, but um, you, you can't charge it on a on that company's devices. So uh, Samsung's coming out. It, it'll take up the three items. Uh, looks pretty cool, pretty much like an air power sort of setup. Um, it does show them sort of all stacked. So basically, if you look like that, they've got a watch and then a, a phone and then the buds sitting on there or whichever way. Um, doesn't sort of say that you can just dump them anywhere. So whether there's just three identified zones that you can chuck it in and you've got to line it up when you put it on. It's really not that much of a drama. It's probably a lot better than having a cord plugged into it. I use an old uh, my old unit here, my knockable one, which has still been going. and. It's pretty easy, you just dump it on there and away you go. But uh, look, I think Apple's not far away bringing something out. I don't know how many it's gonna be able to take, but Samsung's beat them to it and it's on, I guess, wireless is here to stay and it's gonna be getting bigger and better. Um, Rightio, now back to the Apple stuff. Uh, talk again, now they are talking about the 12 Max Pro being the only version that we're gonna get that has five millimeter waves for the 5G. Five millimeter, millimeter waves. Whoa, I am struggling tonight. <clears throat> um, 
all the other models, even the other two pro models or that they're talking about are not gonna have the millimeter waves. They're struggling to get enough of the um, parts they need to run that 5G system. And top of that, they're also saying that the millimeter wave versions might be limited to certain countries. Uh, basically Japan, US, Canada's not even gonna get it. Um, and an, I think it was another country they talked about. So that's gonna be a really interesting on how Apple promotes this because if they're promoting a unit as having five millimeter waves, and then that's gonna be in their whole big sales pitch, which they do, I think they need to be careful and they're gonna to have to be upfront and tell everyone, say this is, millimeter waves is only gonna be in these three markets. Everyone else in the world, uh, you're not important enough. I think it's sort of, I don't think there's that much of a rush that they need to get millimeter waves out. It's gonna be a specialized things and I think that's why they've reduced it to the, to the max the big Max phone. There's not gonna be a lot of people that want that big massive phone anyway. They're painful to carry around. I, I had the 6 Plus and that was a nightmare to carry. Um, and never again will I get a phone that big. They're just, it's just painful. Um, so that's gonna sort of limit it what it is, but if you really want that at millimeter waves, you can buy. If you get the broad spectrum 5G, that at the moment, that's probably the best system anyway. You can still get up to, I think uh, MKBH tested it in LA and he had that system and he was getting 300 megabytes a second, which is just ridiculous speeds for a phone or internet in Australia. That just blows all our internet out the water. So that would be very cool in itself. So I, I don't think you should be really worried about that millimeter waves one um, and you're probably not gonna get it anyway. So I don't think we, as Australians, we don't have to worry at all. Now, the other good thing Good things that we have coming out is 4K, 120, and 240 on the new phone, which is just insane. That is that is really, really cool. And that's why I think I said to you before, I'm gonna try using my phone to do some video stuff for the channel and see how that goes. Once I get my new phone, because I'm, I'm my contract's up and I'm due for a phone, so I just get a new one in there. Um, having the ability to do 120 slow-mo and 240 at 4K and normal 4K, and it's gonna also have night mode as well, which is gonna be great when I do my night shoots. I think there's gonna be a lot of benefits in the phone for my video side. Stabilization as well is pretty darn good in the phones nowadays. And if I need a gimbal, I can just get one of those new Osmo 4s with the magnetic, because uh, they are tickety-boo, and just go like that, and you've got a full thing and without having a camera. So. I'm not sure about the files and stuff like that. Uh, I'd use the Moment app to do the video anyway, so I can adjust and fine tune it as I need to. So look, there's I think there's some really good positives coming out of the 12. It's not gonna have some just groundbreaking next level stuff uh, like the 120 hertz with that's been on again, off again, on again, off again. Now the same with the 5G, it's not been on again, off again, on again. We don't know. And then last night they also said that over on, uh, <clears throat> Lou later that there's the, one of the companies that sells a lot of the products for Apple uh, is struggling to get the parts out. So it's definitely not gonna be coming to October. Uh, that's pretty much a lock in that we, I don't think we, we may, I still think we could possibly have the event in September. I think that's not a drama. They just need to be coming out in front and okay, go, look, there's gonna be a delay on stuff, COVID stuff that everyone knows about it. Here's what we're bringing. Uh, it's gonna be out later this year check the website and we'll send you out an email, subscribe to our newsletter, we'll tell you when it's available so you can order it. So I think that's all they have to do. I don't think, you you don't have to change the release date, you already know what you're bringing out. As long as you've got enough samples to show people and uh, get reviews done on, I think that's all you need and then it'll sell like normal. People are happy to pre-order. As I said, I normally, every time I've gone and get a new phone, which is every two years, uh, once the contract changes or is up, I have to wait till like January anyway to get a phone. So it's, I'm always waiting three months. So it's really no big change to me. So I think it'll still be good. And if it's got those things in there for video, I think that'll be cool, especially the night mode, that will make a, a big difference. That was the only thing I was upset about <clears throat> with the Vixia uh, is the fact that the night uh, mode is just not, it's okay, but it's not as good as I need it. It's finding that balance of, what I, what I can use, I'll get there. It's a learning process.
Um, Rodio, so Qualcomm is also big chip makers. You've heard of Qualcomm, that is Snapdragon, the world's best processor chip for the mobile phone industry. Um, that's They've come out with their own version of ARM. It's the 8CX Gen 2 5G uh, lap, as laptop chips. So these are gonna go into laptops as well. And they are saying up to 25 hours of battery life and better performance than the i5 10th generation Intel chips by a minimum of 18% uh, in the testing. So that's nearly 20%, a fifth better than the current 10th generation i5 in a little tiny chip that can go on a little tiny uh, laptop. So that's definitely one to watch. Those ARM chips are gonna be huge, huge different makers. If you look at the power benefits, just the power alone, getting that 25 hours instead of maybe 10 hours, uh, it's, ARM chips are gonna be huge. We know they're gonna be what we've heard and sort of the rumors have said about the Apple ones. Well, when you come and see Qualcomm in there doing this sort of stuff with it as well, you know that ARM, I guess, is gonna be the way of the future. I think it's all sort of heading that way and hopefully Intel can keep up as we talked about the other day. And then uh, Vivo, uh, Vivo, a phone company, not a big, big name, but a phone company come out with pr something pretty darn tricky. They've come out with a color changing rear glass. So your glass on your back of your phone, that, that glass case, it uh, uses um, electrochromatic uh, glass. You might have seen in, you get some of those toilets where the toilets go from clear to frosted when someone walks in. That, that same technology, basically there's electronic wires in there and it, you turn, the power goes on and it frosts up the glass. Well, the same, that same sort of tech is gonna be used in the phones, change it from one color to the next, and it's a pretty darn good effect. Um, I'll, if, if you haven't seen it, go Google it. Um, you're definitely something worth looking at and very cool. But other than that, that's about it. I'm done and dusted. I think I need to go to bed. <laughs> now I've got a bit of editing to do, doing a new video, um, or the next video, which is gonna be a double video. Uh, that's going to be pretty cool. So I've got a long week ahead. Uh, I had, I think I started yesterday, I had like 400 something photos, some amazing panoramas in this one. Uh, it's it's a pretty epic video. I've hopefully done it justice and I've got a long way to go on the photos. I've narrowed it from about 400 to about 80, 80 good ones. So there's a, still a lot of work to do on the photo side before I can even get to the video. So it's going to be a big one. Um, have a great day. I will see you all again tomorrow for, what's today? Monday, Tuesday. Wow. The last one before I go home. So see you all again tomorrow. Radio, right, whether you're coming this way or going that way, I'll catch you tomorrow. See ya.